Every node in Godot has properties that define its characteristics and behavior, and we can check the values of these properties in the inspector panel. Scripts allow you to control these values and change them whenever you want. For example, here we have a sprite node which has the position property that specifies where the node should appear in the game window. This property takes a value of type vector2, which consists of x and y coordinates. If we want to change its position, we can do it from the UI or we can attach a script on this node and set its position to a value of type vector2. We can also use the underscore process function to make its position change over time. In general, we can view the properties that we can control in the help documentation by searching for the node class we are interested in. Notice here that there is a section called methods. You can think of a method as a function that performs a specific action on a node, like hiding or deleting a node. For example, to hide our sprite node, we can use the hide method. And we can use the queue free method to delete a node and its children. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.